No more long-lost Cambius grandson. No more phony claims on our fame and fortune. It's over. Finished. Finito. So let's break out the champers and celebrate. I don't mean to burst your champagne bubbles, but I think we need to hold off on the celebration. Why? Why? Because I still think the Cambius drama hasn't played its final act. The whole wrap-up was just a little too neat and a little too tidy. Thank you, Mr. Look on the Dark Side. Why can't you just accept the truth and be satisfied? Everyone else has. But no, not you. Look, Ryan, if you're so bent on giving the company away, just do it already and get it over with. You've done nothing but roll over for Ethan since the minute he hit town. Oh my god. Ryan, what am I doing? Why am I going off on you? God, Ryan, I'm so sorry. That attack was unprovoked and totally undeserved. You want the truth because you want to do the right thing and honor a dead man's wishes. Me, I just want to kick back with a bottle of bubbly and send Ethan back to England on the next plane. Yeah, well, Ethan does just kind of make it hard to like him. You know, but I, I, I can't help it. I, I feel for the guy. I mean, he really thought that he had a legitimate claim. Or else he's one heck of an actor. No. No, I saw the hope drain from his face when Zach denied the father-son connection. He was not acting. No, he's just going to have to suck it up and move on. Yeah, you know, if I was Ethan, I would take a shot at proving Zach's lying. Bring it down. What? Get down! You're an open target in front of the windows. What? Where's this coming from? You're not from? safe here. A sniper can get a shot from the building across the street. Hey. Hey, Greenland. Why don't we open that champagne, all right? Take no, the edge no, off no, a little bit. We don't bit. have time. We don't have time. Where's that wedding Kevlar vest that I got you? I gotta call Jackson. We gotta get that round-the-clock bodyguard back. Ethan probably has a phone tapped. We gotta get out of here. We gotta find the safe house. We gotta get somewhere that he cannot hurt you. Listen to me. Getting a little paranoid here. You know, it's gonna be okay. Nothing's gonna happen. I'm gonna make sure of that. I promise. Going on with me, Ryan. My diagnosis is that you're just running on nothing but adrenaline and fumes. I'm not like this. I don't dissolve into tears like some loser sissy girl. Well, content's under pressure. Eventually, something's got to blow. I thrive on pressure. Yeah, well, too much would ring anybody out, Greenly. I mean, look at you. You've been a rock. You've been holding it together since I took that bullet. This is scaring me, Ryan. Well, look. I'm here to help you hold it together, okay? But you gotta tell me what's going on. How long have you been feeling like this? Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe the first time was when I blurted out to Ethan that Zach might be his father. All right, slip of the tongue. What happened to anybody? How about me playing nursemaid to a sick fern? A definite danger sign. No, it is. It's totally not me. I am where plants go to die. And the very same day, I gave Simone my wedding ring. Well, you managed to wrestle to the ground and get it back. Anything else? Yeah, but it's like so off the wall. This morning, I forgot to get dressed. I opened the door to Ethan, Bianca, and Kendall start naked see see if that's not totally whack then I, I i go off on you like some banshee and i'm i'm paranoid and i feel like there's bad guys everywhere to get you i'm crawling out of my skin ryan what's wrong with me i don't know i don't know but i'm gonna find out where are we going i'm gonna take you to the hospital and i'm gonna get you checked out I'm gonna call Maria from the car and have her meet us at the hospital. No, Ryan, Ryan, stop it, stop it. I'm not going. Don't be stubborn. No, unless they have a wonder drug to cure spontaneous stupidity, there's no point in wasting a doctor's time. Maybe this could be neurological, okay? I would feel a lot better if you just let a doctor check you out. No, 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 doctors. Sleep. If I get enough sleep, I'll be back to the same old me tomorrow morning. I promise. Let's just forget it, okay? Telling me to forget it is like telling me to stop loving you. I 
I promise to edit, think, and censor before I open my big fat mouth again, okay? And before you open the door on your birthday suit? <laughs> I'll put on one of Myrtle Fargate's house coats before that happens again. Well, there's an image. Hold that thought. Where are you going? Well, maybe we can find some answers to what's going on with you. What are you looking for? Your special website? www.wifeinmeltdown.com No, not exactly. I'm on a medical website. Ah. Mrs. Lavery, I think I, uh... I found the source of your problem. What is it? Well, you gotta go nine months. What? You have all the symptoms of a woman that's carrying a baby on board. 